So we have Control Shift Home and Control Shift End. Okay. Now that one I'm actually going to do in combination with the ones that you should be most familiar with, which is cut, copy, and paste. So what I will do is I'm going to copy and paste this phrase a whole bunch of times and then show you how I navigate and do it. Okay. So control home. What this will do is we'll jump all the way back. Actually, let me make sure I have more than just one line in here. And get rid of this. And notice I'm doing all this with no mouse. Because, you know, it's my mouse position right here. It didn't move before that point. Okay. So, I have a whole bunch of text on this. And I want to go back to the very beginning. That would be a control home. Watch what happens to the cursor. It will go up here. So I'll leave my mouse here. See it goes up to the top left. And if I want to go to the very end, that's a control end. Okay. Now if I do a shift home from the end from here, that only will select on the current line. That will not select everything. But if I did want to select everything, from this point backwards, meaning from the end to the beginning, or from the end to home. Now you get the idea of why they call it the home key. Control and shift and home at the same time will select everything. Now that is not a select all, which I'll show in a moment. Now let's just say my cursor, I'll move it over here. And if you can't see it, I'm right here. So. I'll take my mouse and put it over here. If I do a, a control shift home from here, it will select everything previous to the cursor to the beginning. Control shift home. Okay. Now if I use the end key, let me put my key uh cursor in the same position it was before. If I do a control shift end, it works the exact same way as home except in reverse. It goes forward to the end. Now you have an idea why they call it the end key. And that's easy enough to understand. Now in most applications, most, but not all, control A, as A is an alpha, will actually do a select all of all the text no matter where you are in the document or the line. So let's just say I'm here for whatever reason and I do control A that selects everything. And again I want to uh, make the point clear that it is not always the case. Sometimes some apps don't have control A functionality. You'll know if it does or it doesn't if you go to the edit menu of uh, the app in question and if you see a select all function under that <clears throat> excuse me, then you know it's got it. And it's a almost always a control A. I don't know many applications with a select all function where it is not control A, so you can just safely assume that it is. Okay, and now to the easy stuff, because this is it's easy yet it's not easy. Actually yes, it is easy, so let's continue. Cut, copy, paste. Now you'll notice that the keys are X, C, and V. If you look on your keyboard, those three keys are right next to each other, at least in the United States layout so you have X. Now why did they use X for cut? Because it is an X like a cro cross out as in to remove. So you know how for example if you look in Windows at the top right there's an X meaning to close so uh, way before that they used X meaning to cut. Copy they used because it begins with the letter C. Now while it's true that cut begins with the letter C as well, X makes more sense as in to cut because to you know cut out. So and, uh, and another reason why they use the letter X by the way is because it s somewhat resembles a pair of scissors. Okay so if you actually look at the literal shape of a letter X. C is to copy so that one. Now this one is a source of confusion is why did they choose V? to paste. Okay, well if you look at the shape of a letter V, it actually looks like an arrow pointing down, meaning to put down, to paste. So it actually does make literal sense if you look at the letter V as a shape rather than a letter. And the same thing goes with cut. If you look at it as a shape rather than a letter that resembles a pair of scissors to cut, 
and that resembles an arrow down to paste, and the C just resembles the C in copy. So uh, that's why they are called what they are called. And of course, it makes sense that these three keys are directly next to each other, uh, because, well, the X and the C and the C and the V are, but they're all three in a row in the United States layout, and uh, that is why the difference between cut, copy, and paste. Now, to actually show you what cut, copy, and paste does, I can actually do that right from this screen. Now I'll start at the beginning and take my mouse and put it over here. Okay, I'm going to go to the word cut. So down, 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 down. Hold down control, right, right, and then one arrow right. Okay, so I'm at the beginning of the word cut. Now I want to select this word. I can do it one of two ways. I can hold down shift and press right three times, C-U-T, or I can do control and shift and do it that way, but it went over one character. Now I want to keep this selection, but I don't want to, uh, I want to move back one space. How do I do it? Let go of shift, hold control, left. Now I've got it. Now if I do a control X to cut, control X, it goes away. But where did it go? I don't see it, and you don't see it. In the Windows environment, this is called going into the clipboard buffer. It means that what you have selected is actually still in memory and will stay there until you copy or cut something else, which will override what was there before, or you paste it. So I'm going to control, use this one, V, to paste that back. It is in the buffer, control V, pasted it back. Now, copy works the exact same way cut does, except it does not remove anything. So, for example, I'm going to select this word right here. Actually, I'll go up and select the word Linux. Okay. L-I-N-U-X. And I'm going to control C. Now, I just did this, and on the surface, it appeared nothing happened. Something did happen. I copied the word Linux, which is my currently selected word, to the clipboard buffer. So I'm going to press the down arrow once and press Control V to paste. And it pasted the word exactly where I wanted it to go. And that's it. Now, th my final notes on this uh, before I close this video out is okay, deleting and removing and undoing and redoing. Now, this is dependent on the editor but it more or less stays universally correct no matter which app you are in. If I want to undo what I just did, which was a paste of the word Linux right there, that is a control Z as in Z that undoes what I just did. If I want to redo, I think, does Notepad ever redo? I don't even know. No, nope, there is no redo here, because uh, I know Control z is undo. Control y is usually a redo, but I don't think that's in the notepad. Of our, I'd have to look that up, actually. But the one you're mo more or less concerned with is the undo. And you'll notice that in this environment that un there is undo. You'll see everything under the edit menu that you can do, more or less. Like, for example, in Notepad, there's one called Replace, which is a Control-H. That is not a universal function. That is uh, specific to Notepad. If I do a Control-H, you can say find what and replace with what, but that's only for Notepad. But anyway, Control-Z is undo. Now, as far as deleting things and backspacing, okay, is there a difference between backspace and delete? Well, I answer that with yes and no. So, for example, if I'm in the middle of the phrase Windows and Linux, I'll put my mouse over here, so I'll just use this as a keyboard. Now, if I press Delete, let me do that again. My cursor is right here, as you can see. If I press Delete, here's what happens. It will delete a one character to the front of my current position. Okay, that's what it did. If I press Space, it puts it back. Backspace does the reverse. It will delete the character before my position, which means it will delete the D in the A-N-D word, like this. Okay? So, that's what you have to remember, is that delete deletes what's in front. 
backspace deletes what's in back. And the reason it's really important to know the difference between delete and backspace is because most people don't. They just assume that delete always means backspace or backspace always means delete. It doesn't. The functions they perform are the same, but it's the direction in which they go which matters. So again, remember, delete, that's what delete does. And I'll control Z to undo that. Same cursor position, backspace, control Z to undo. That's what that does. So there you go. You've learned how to use arrows. Use the navigation op option of control the selection option of shift, the navigation and selection of control and shift, how to use home and end, how to use control shift home and end, how to cut, how to copy, how to paste, and how to use your backspace and delete keys properly. That's it guys, take it easy.